It is that time of year again. In fact, I think Harry's sitting on a hat. Yes, I am. Are you sitting on a hat? Would you yes. like to wear the said hat? I will. To introduce this. Oh, well, I, you don't I won't want to peek too it. soon. No, I won't be able to find uh, it. Yeah. Well, it is a time when we all dress up, even Harry. We do silly things for charity. We even dance. And it's all in a very good cause. Children in Need is well underway. And we are hoping that uh, last year's grand total raised in Yorkshire can be beaten. In Yorkshire alone, £1.8 million. Pounds. Let's go live now to the Magna Centre in Rotherham. Nicola Rees and Toby Foster can tell us what's going on. Good evening and welcome to Magna down here in downtown Rotherham. That noise you can hear is excitement building for a night of fun, entertainment, but most importantly, fundraising as we kick off this year's Children in Need. You lot raised £1.8 million last year. Well done. We've decided we're going to crack that this year. So we need you to come down and we need you to take part. Come on down and see us. Well, all day, already, you've been doing some weird and wonderful things to raise money for children in need. Tom Ingle has been out taking a look. Right, you horrible lot. It's Children in Need 2012. So commence fundraising! Everybody clap your hands. What do 500 school children being sponsored at Cha Cha Slides look like? Well, luckily, Watercliffe Meadow Primary School in Sheffield can show us. Five hops this time. Hop it out now. Five hops, right, apparently. They've been brilliant. They have tried so hard and practiced so much, and they've got just so, so into yeah. it, haven't they? Right foot, let's start. Nice horns, right sir. Thank you very much. Freeze! Kate and Pat from Hoyland Common are 60-year-old twins. You'd think they were old enough to know better. Did you suggest the costume this year? Was it your idea, yes, Dennis? Yes, it was mine this year. So you chose the dog? I chose the dog. Why, why didn't you chose the stripy jumper? Oh, cos I like being the dog, especially with my tail on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. 60-year-old tail, children in need. You don't get that anywhere else, do you? <laughs> Meanwhile, at Swim Babes classes in Denbydale, they're getting sponsored for each splash. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going. Oh, loads of money. Someone else getting wet for Pudsey are the motley crew of this garage in Conisborough, washing windscreens for your wad. There's some smears. <laughs> it's not a very good job in the middle there. I'm not giving a fiver for smears. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but it's about this time on a Friday afternoon, I like to go for a jog with a load of topless rugby players wearing tutus. Oh, is it me or is it a bit nippy out? Oh, they love rugger at the York College of Law. Are you all training to be lawyers? That's right, yeah. You've got no hope of a legal career now, you know that. <laughs> Grace Brothers. How would you rate their physical prowess out of ten? Not bad. Yeah, they've been all right. Oh, really? <laughs> a, sniffy, a sniffy eight after running around in the rain, I ask you. Here we are at the Airedale Academy in Castleford, where the whole community and the school has got together to cycle the equivalent distance from John O'Groats to Land's End and then back again, almost 2,000 miles. Were you successful this week? Yeah! yeah! I think that calls for a celebration. Yeah! Round like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel in a wheel, like a car being pushed around the track at the Don Valley Stadium, no, it doesn't even rhyme, does it? We're pushing a Peugeot 208 208 times round, round the track. Would you like some help? Yes, please. OK, look, <laughs> I'm helping. Thank you. Is that OK? I'm really putting my back into this. <laughs> and there was only one place we could finish an encore from Tadcaster Grammar School. What do they think of the show so far? Anything but rubbish. So, are you going to put your teachers through to boot camp? Yeah! Of course, the most important thing that we do tonight is that we raise money for children in need. The phone number you need is 03457 33 22 33. Loads of people have come down tonight. Hello! Oh, you can make more noise than that. We've got all these people here. We've also got Sheffield Sporting Superstars. We've got the Sharks here, who've been sent down just to make me look really short. Good evening, chaps. Have you had any nice uh, children in need? Yes, yes. Great event. It's great. a great event, you see. That's what we like to hear. The Steel Dogs are here. The Steel Dogs are here, Sheffield's ice hockey team. The number one ice hockey team in Sheffield, I'm guessing. That's right. Absolutely right. Is there another one? I don't even know. Pudsey's here. What have you got to say about it, Pudsey? Same as normal, pretty much. And, of course, Sheffield, well, Sheffield, Yorkshire's favourite sporting son, 
It's Harold Dicky Bird Dicky. Welcome to Children in Need. Yes, it's for a wonderful cause, and uh, I, you know we, we've got to do all we can for the children in need. It's like Dicky says, we've got to do all that we can. Yeah. That phone number again: 03457 33 22 33. Get on the phone now. <laughs> I, I'm not the only one with somebody famous. <laughs> Go and see who Nicky's got with her. <laughs> Nicky. Thank you, Toby. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> More like <laughs> infamous. I'm here with Georgie Spanswick. Now, you're going to be live across North, South, West Yorkshire tonight, and you're broadcasting yeah. from here. From here, live for three hours, from 7 o'clock till 10. It's a bit of an early one for me. We've got the Mexbury Youth Club we're going to be hearing from. They get money from children in need. We're also going to be hearing from Back to Beats and meet lovely Ella, who's a fantastic singer. But you have got singers tonight, haven't you? I heard them. It's just a fabulous night, Nicola, tonight. Fantastic. I've been hearing the choir rehearse all day. They are amazing. Now, just to tell you a little bit about it, a big part of children in need is the mass choir two and a half thousand children across the country taking part together in one song a bridge over troubled water on live on national television now here in Rotherham we've got 120 school children from three choirs and they're going to have their moments on live TV now let's find out how all this is going to work Shamir Masri has been to meet some of these children earlier in the week This was last year's choir performing in Pudsey, the spiritual home of Children in Need's mascot bear. It was the first time such a performance was arranged for the main fundraising night as choirs from across the country linked to perform the same song simultaneously. It was such a success, it's happening again this year. And the experienced Barbara Bancroft once again is our local choir mistress. It was the first time we'd done it. Lots of technical issues with it, lots of logistical issues, but the night was really good. The children responded remarkably well. And this year, because it's a different venue, different set of children, quite a different setup, it'll be different again. This year's song is Simon and Garfunkel's 70s classic, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Rainbow Connection from Doncaster are one of three choirs taking part at Magna. They will be joined by choirs from Dobcroft Junior School from Sheffield and Castleton Primary School in Armley. It's an exciting opportunity for the children taking part. It's going to be pretty exciting beforehand, but even more exciting when you get there. It's going to be immense. It's a song that quite a few people are familiar with. And it's just really catchy. It's one that you can get into your head. It's a lovely song and it's very gentle and there's a lot of expression in your voice you can project. My mum's just nagging me about singing and singing and singing. And, I, and my dad's just going, sing, sing, sing. Each choir from around the country will appear on a giant video screen outside Television Centre in London, including our choir at Magna, and a lucky few will be shown singing live at around half past eight tonight on BBC One. Shamir Masri, BBC Look North. Fantastic stuff. You must remember the number tonight, 03457 33 22 33. Get on your phones. Let's raise loads of money. Thank you for all the money you've raised so far. Keep it coming. Really good causes. Every penny that you donate goes to good causes in Yorkshire. Are you having a good time, folks? Yeah! It's goodbye from us in Rotherham. See you later. When they good? They were.
That yeah. was absolutely fantastic, was that? Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> can, can the camera just come a little bit closer? I really want you to see Harry in all his glory. You see, people are doing literally anything for children in need. Yes, you look like Compo with the ears. Thank you very much indeed. You look much cuter in your ears. Do I? I, oh, I think you look cute, Harry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got some uh, lovely pictures all over water, actually, to show you this evening before I get on with the weekend forecast. The first one at Lineker Reservoir near Chesterfield, sent in by Helen Wainwright. The second one, ooh, lovely orangey coloured skies and trees over Fuston Reservoir. That was late yesterday afternoon. And the third one near Doncaster, Langold Lake, sent in by Kevin Point. And you can keep your pictures coming in at Paul the Weatherman or Paul the Weatherman at bbc.co.uk or you can tweet me at Keely Donovan. So the weekend, a real split. I don't think tomorrow is going to be very nice. There's going to be a lot of cloud around and it will produce some patchy rain and drizzle, but Sunday looks quite pleasant. So here's the pressure chart for tonight. You can see two fronts across us. So as we go through the course of the night, we are going to see some quite heavy rain in places, but behind those fronts, cooler, fresher conditions for the weekend. On Sunday morning, we'll start the day with a frost. So this is the satellite picture. You can see we've had a lot of cloud over the last few hours. And at the moment, we've got a line of showers just tracking southwards in Yorkshire. Some quite sharp ones, actually. And they will tend to merge with longer spells of rain through the evening. And as I say, some of that rain will really turn quite heavy through the middle past the night before tending to ease through the second. The breeze will remain light and temperatures underneath all that cloud will drop back to a mild six or seven degrees. So the sun will rise tomorrow morning, just after half past seven at seven, can't remember, 7.38, setting again at four minutes past four. Your next high water in Scarborough at six minutes past six tomorrow morning. And it's not going to be a very pleasant start to the day. There'll be mist, there'll be hill fog, there'll be a lot of low cloud around. It will continue to produce patchy rain and drizzle through the morning hours. But as we make our way through the afternoon, we should, in some places, see a slow improvement. We should see brighter skies spreading into western and central parts, but also the odd shower in the west. Uh, I think eastern parts will hold on to a lot of cloud. Temperatures will lift to around 8 or 9 degrees. A frosty start on Sunday, but pleasant and you look cute. <laughs> Thank you very much. You see, I've done lots of firsts this week, danced and worn a silly hat, all for children in need. Very nice. We need your money. Just give us a lot, will you? Because this is a great cause. Enjoy your evening. Good night. It's ridiculous. Good night. You live. Well, here we are down at Magnet in Rotherham. Welcome back. Say hello. You saw earlier on the choir that we've got down here at Magna. Leading that choir today for us is Barbara Bancroft. Hello, Barbara. Hello, nice to meet you at long last. At long last. Tell us about the work you've been doing today with the choir. The choir, we've got about 120, 130 children. We've been rehearsing all afternoon. They are absolutely fantastic. And this building, the acoustics, are really, really good. They've been marvellous. When you say they've been rehearsing all afternoon, they actually met this afternoon, didn't they? Uh, yes, this is the first time we've actually all been together. We've got three choirs from three different areas and this was our first meeting. And how have they been? How have they taken to that? I'm amazed at their concentration. I'm amazed that they actually they all know the words, they all know the music. They've been tremendous. And how have they enjoyed being in this wonderful building today? I think they have. I think they found it absolutely fascinating. They've been captivated by everything that's going on. And they've, it, this is just wonderful to sing in. And it, it, does it make a difference having these fantastic acoustics? Oh, certainly does, yes. It's much better. It really helps. And of course, it's nice to be inside, but it's splendid in here. It feels a little bit like outside, though, doesn't it? It's just been a tad on the cool side, but that's not deterred us, and we've sung really well. They have sung really well, and it hasn't deterred them. If you didn't see it before, here's a clip of the choir from earlier on.
wasn't that fantastic? How good were this lot? People, how good was that? <laughs> we are having the most fantastic time. I want to introduce you very briefly to some members of that fabulous choir. Introduce yourself for me. Hello, my name's Carl Matlott and I'm from Castle Lane. Well done on that singing. You were marvellous. How did you find it? Not so much tricky, but... It wasn't too tricky, was it not? Was it quite easy? Yeah. So tell me about how much you've had to train for this. Who are you? Um, I'm Abigail. I'm from Macaulay. Um, we've had a couple of weeks to learn the song and the harmonies, and I think all the choirs have done really well. And all the moves as well. You look fantastic. Uh, I'm Grayson from Dovecross Junior School. Um, I really enjoyed this. And do you realise that you might even make it onto national television? That would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm Taylor and I go to Dobcroft Junior School. I just thought that song was really good and I got the chance to go on TV. It was fantastic. Now, we've got another member of the choir here. You didn't sing at all. You were useless. <laughs> he was useless, wasn't he? But he looked rather good. So we're going to say a little bit of a cheer now, just to say hello to everybody, live from Rotherham. Should we have a little cheer? Yeah. 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 Get on the it's phones, well. get on the phones, 03457 33 22 33, that's the number to pledge tonight for children in need. Callers, every single penny goes to great causes. Do your bit. You're getting better every time. See you later. Oh, we've got another 10 seconds. Well, say it again. The, the number's there, 0345 33 22 33. and need champions in your area. Well, here we are, back in Rotherham, which is positively subtropical now. We're boiling hot. Have you phoned 03457 33 22 33? You can't have failed to have noted the Gangnam Styles that has been taking the world by storm. Well, a group of teachers at Tadcaster have taken their own view on this. This is Tadgram Style. Tadgram Style. We are in Yorkshire, in Tulston, which is near to Tadcaster, very famous for its beer. The smell of ops is often found just hanging in the air. Then there's Tad Kebab with this really greasy fare. We have a stable block, but we don't have any horses. But our library rocks with its excellent resources. Doors are never locked. It's got a mezzanine where students can prepare for mocks and they pull up their socks. We are from Yorkshire, the home of puddings and Yorkshire tea. Isn't that fantastic? And the person who thought it up from Tadcaster Grammar School is Adam. He's a teacher there. Hello, Adam. Hi, Tommy. Tell me, you've taken the internet by storm with Tadgram style. Tell us how it came about. What it was, we, we had a Staff X Factor competition and uh, we thought we had to come up with something different. We saw the Eaton style uh, on, on YouTube. I thought we'd come up with our own northern version and uh, hence Tadgram style. And has it surprised you? Yeah. Yeah. Has it surprised you how popular it's been? It's been absolutely unbelievable. I mean, you know, it's, we've raised over £3,000 from the Just Giving site. Uh, we've made badges, as you can see. We've been doing an X Factor competition with non uniform Day. We've had everything going on. It's been absolutely unbelievable. And I mean, the thing, the, the whole um, video is full of teachers, full of kids as well. Did everybody buy in? They did. I mean, who would have thought that a bunch of silly teachers doing a silly dance would have raised so much for charity? It's been absolutely fantastic. And uh, did it feel like a silly dance? I mean, it looked quite serious <laughs> to me. It was a heck of a production. <laughs> well, yeah, but we had our Yorkshire puddings, we had, we had our Yorkshire tea, you know, what, that was it. Everything was there. Everybody's got in on it. Uh, Putsy has been practicing Tad Grant style. Putsy can absolutely Tad Grant style. We're going to be uh, keeping Putsy going at that all night. Over there, all the way over there, Nicola Reese has got some fundraisers for us. Over to you, Nick. Last year in Yorkshire, we raised £1.8 million. And we want to say a really big thank you to people just like all of you here. Give us a cheer if you're a fundraiser this year. Yeah! You are a really, really good bunch. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I'm going to do a quick run along here now. The girls from the spa in Doncaster, how much have you raised and how? Uh, 632. £632.25 and we've Having done PJ Day, face painting, raffle, baking, Gethsemane sweets in the jar. 
Now, at the market stall holders from Castle Market, how much have you raised and how? We've raised £7,500. We pledged, the traders at the Castle Market in Sheffield pledged 50 pence for every customer that came through our doors today. We had just under 15,000 people. Fantastic. Now, I'm going to use you for a minute. Give us a little shout out, market trader style. Get people to donate for us. Come on, people, pick up the phone and pledge that money on 03457 33 You can't argue with that. Now, who have we got here? What have um, you been doing? Okay, we've got uh, Rummage and Dave Peugeot from Sheffield. We've been pushing a Peugeot 208 around the track at Don Valley Stadium. We've pushed it for 308 laps, 78 miles in 24 hours, raised £3,700. Excellent. So well done. Very, very quickly. Hello, we made a Halloween party and we raised over there. My children, they did it. Thank you very much. Make sure pick you up the phone, pick up make the phone. that call. So, welcome back, one and all. You live. And we're back in Rotherham, at the Magnus Centre. The night is rocking along today. Are you getting cold yet? No, I'm, I'm high on the hot energy of this place. <laughs> Absolutely, it's subtropical. We've been talking about what we can do for kids all night, and joining me now is, uh, is Dominic Ingle from the world famous uh, gym down there in Winkerbank. Been working, well, your dad started, and you've been working with kids for, for years now, Dominic. Yeah, 20, 30 years. We've had all types of kids coming in, different backgrounds, uh, you know, different ethnic minorities, and, you know, they walk in, and it's, they always need something when they're being bullied, or they just come from a, you know, poor background, and they walk into that gym, and, uh, you know, they find a place where they can, they can go in, train, be likes and they get looked after and it means that charities like children in need are very close to your heart isn't it yeah i mean we you know we we look after the kids that's bit you know our, our age group is from like five to 13 year old and after that obviously they're all they're all men but the the group what come in the biggest group are the kids between five and 13 and you know they come in for some guidance and you know through boxing uh, it puts them on the right track and what's what's been the secret to your success because the amount of world champs that's come out of winker bank is perspective one stood behind us of course but the amount of world champs that's come out of there has been fantastic i just think because you know, we've got a, uh, Brendan Ingle when he first came over from Dublin. He came into Sheffield, and you know the, the people welcomed him. And I think he's always tried to pay that back in one way or another. So you know, when the kids come into the gym from all different origins and backgrounds, you know, he's, he's offered the same helping hand that uh, he got when he first came over. And what a warm welcome, mate! What a great night we've had in Rotherham. You're enjoying yourselves tonight, aren't you? Yeah. You've still got time to give us a call. Oh, there we are, 03457 33 22 33. Get on the phone now and pledge. Nicola can tell you what your money goes towards. Yeah, and remember that every single penny that you donate in Yorkshire goes towards helping young people and children, helping them stay safe and happy. So please do pick up the phone. Right, let's see where some of your money goes. Over here we have the staff and children from Kingsland School in Wakefield. Now, just introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about how you spend the children in need money. The, the money that we've got is over three years and it's paying for an after-school club and a summer play scheme. Yeah. How much of a difference does it make to you? It makes a huge difference because like, we can't afford it otherwise, you know, the money just isn't there. So we're really, really great, grateful for the funding. It really Give me a cheer that signifies just how grateful you are. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty grateful. Right, over here we've got the Islands Project from York. I'm interested in how you spend the money. Introduce yourself for me. Hi, I'm Nigel, the coordinator of the project. I've got some of our volunteers and the young people here. We uh, recruit and train volunteers, and they go out with uh, young children once a week over a minimum of a year, and they just do positive activities, and that really helps them in their lives. So just give us an idea of how life would be without the contribution that you receive from children in need. Maybe you could tell me. Um, we, 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 um, we wouldn't go out as much and um, like the island's changed all of our lives and it's been brilliant. So it makes a big difference. Yeah. How much of a difference, little cheer, just to signify just how much? <laughs> so we really do just want to say a really big thank you to everybody that has picked up the phone so far today and to all you people who have done some weird and wonderful and wacky things. Thanks also to Pudsey. So far, I can tell you that here in Yorkshire, we've raised 476,288 pounds. So a very well done to you. And remember, if you can still pledge some money, we'd be really grateful. The number to call, Toby? It is 03457 33 22 33. It's on the screen now. You can, of course, email us, get in touch in all the ways. Tagram style. 03457. 22, 33. We're going to leave now. you now in Rotherham. 
with the biggest cheer you have ever heard. Children in Need 2012, goodbye. <laughs> Now, thousands of you have been doing your bit for children in need today, and Toby and Nicola have been at a special event in Rotherham this evening. We're here at the Magnus Centre in Rotherham at the end of a fantastic day. And what have you seen today? You've seen Tagram style, we've even had Pudsey dancing, and you've seen people from all over the region with their massive checks. The choir was fantastic. We have seen some enormous, enormous yeah. checks. There's not many of us left now, but among those of us who are left is Dern Valley Venture Project and Sheffield Young Carers. <laughs> you have been out and about across Yorkshire today doing some weird and wonderful things to raise money. Here's Tom Ingle with a roundup. Now I love a pyjama party as much as the next man, which roughly translates as I've never actually been to one. But the staff here at the Carlton Hotel in Pontefract have taken things to a new level by dressing up in their nighties for Pudsey. Well, I like to think so, yes. Uh, what sort of response do you get from the punters when uh, the barmaids are in their PJs? They think we're a little bit strange, but they all join in. It's a good community spirit. It's good for sales technique, I'd have thought. I think so, yeah. Now, I don't know about you, but it's about this time on a Friday afternoon. I like to go for a jog with a load of topless rugby players wearing tutus. Oh, is it me or is it a bit nippy out? Oh. They love rugger at the York College of Law. Are you all training to be lawyers? That's right, yeah. You've got no hope of a legal career now, you know that. <laughs> Round like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel in a wheel, like a car being pushed around the track of the Don Valley Stadium. No, it doesn't even rhyme, does it? We're pushing a Peugeot 208 208 times round the track. Would you like some help? Yes, please. OK, look, <laughs> I'm helping. Is that OK? <laughs> I'm really putting my back into this. This isn't just a building society. It's a children in need building society in Pudsey, where they've turned half the branch into the seaside. That's it from our Yorkshire fundraising roundup 2012. Thank you for everything you've done. Every year we ask you to come out. Every year you excel yourselves, just like they've done here at the Pudsey branch of the Yorkshire Building Society. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Yay! Show us this cheque you've got. This is what the Yorkshire Building Society have raised, £9,268.52. Add it to everything you've done. We've made a really special contribution in Yorkshire to the Children in Need Appeal 2012. Thank you again. And from all the fundraising team, goodbye! <laughs> Well, we just want to say a really big thank you to all of you across Yorkshire. You have done some fantastic work today. You've made us proud. To those of you who came along in pyjamas, in face paints, fantastic. Loved you. Loved you as well, Toby oh, and Pudsey. How kind. Your work's not done yet. Get on the phone. 03457 33 22 33. We need those donations. You've been fantastic, but keep ringing. Thank you very much indeed. Are you going to say goodbye? <laughs> Yes, and we loved you two guys as well. Now, earlier this evening, the uh, well, the latest fundraising total I could tell you uh, from our region is seven hundred and forty-two thousand pounds, five hundred and twelve pence. That's a pretty good effort, isn't it, Keely? It is a very good effort, and I'm sure people are going to continue to keep giving. I certainly have. There was a few tears in the weather office today watching all those videos.